Hello everyone and welcome back to the podcast. And today we'll be diving into the world of AWS cost optimization. But don't worry, we'll make it engaging and easy to understand. Plus, we have a surprise for you at the end, so stay tuned. And before moving forward, if you want to be a part of this podcast, then please send me the details by scanning this QR code. You might see here or here. And if not, then I have provided the link in the comment section and you can be the part of this podcast as well. So starting off, I want to talk about AWS in general and AWS offers a wide range of global cloud based products that empower organizations to scale their applications, lower IT costs and which help them move faster. However, without proper management, cost can quickly spiral out of control. Let's start with the basic. What is AWS cost optimization? Simply put, it's about understanding where your money is going in AWS and ensuring you're paying only for what you are needed. Now, you might wonder why is AWS cost optimization so important? It's not just about saving money, though that's a significant part of it. It's about efficiency, resource management and setting up your project or business up for success. Neglecting cost optimization can lead to wasted resources, unnecessary expenses, budget overruns and reduced project or business efficiency. And we definitely don't want that. So what are the few cost saving strategies that we can think of? So how can we optimize our AWS costs? Luckily, there are several strategies that we can employ that will make a real difference. First up, let's talk about using cost effective resources. And AWS offers a wide range of or wide array of resources with varying performance characteristics and prices. For example, if you are running a small blog, a T2.micro instance from an AWS free tier might be just what you need. On the other hand, a high traffic e-commerce site would require a more powerful instance like a C5.9x large. By carefully selecting the right resource for your specific needs, you can avoid paying for unnecessary extras and saving a bundle. Secondly, we have AWS pricing models. AWS actually offers on-demand, reserved and spot instances. On-demand instances are perfect for short-term irregular workloads. Reserved instances are ideal for predictable workloads and can save you up to 75% compared to the on-demand pricing. And spot instances are really beautiful, can save you up to 90% compared to on-demand pricing, but are subjected to availability and the requirement as well. By choosing the right pricing model for your workload, you can make significant or you can make significant savings. Third, take advantage of the cost management tools provided by AWS. These tools help you track your cost, identify saving opportunities, and even automate cost optimization tasks. And AWS Cost Explorer, for example, if you take that, allows you to visualize and manage your cost and usage over time. And it also provides insightful reports to analyze your spending and identify areas where you can save money. And with these tools, you'll be a cost saving wizard in no time. Lastly, let's talk about designing applications for cost optimization. So this means leveraging serverless architecture, optimizing data transfer and using caching to reduce resource loads. For instance, AWS Lambda allows you to run code without managing servers. So you only pay for the compute time you actually use. Amazon CloudFront enables content caching or content caching closer to the users, reducing data transfer and lowering cost. And by incorporating these practices, you can make a huge impact on your AWS bills. Now let's take a look at some of the real world examples of companies that have achieved impressive cost savings with AWS. First up, we have Airbnb. I know most of you would have heard all this or uh, about this company and this community marketplace for accommodations worldwide relies on AWS to scale its infrastructure to support millions of users across the globe. By leveraging reserved instances, Airbnb has saved up to 40% to on-demand pricing. That's a substantial amount of money that can be reinvested in their business. Next, we have Lyft. A popular ride sharing company, Lyft has successfully managed its high volume real time workloads using AWS. By using Amazon EC2 spot instances, they have reduced cost by over 75% compared to the on demand pricing. That's a remarkable achievement that showcases the power of cost optimization strategies. Another excellent example is Pinterest, the beloved social media platform for sharing interest and ideas. And Pinterest manages its massive data and high traffic websites on AWS. By employing Amazon EC2 reserved instances and Amazon Redshift reserved nodes, 
they have saved millions of dollars compared to on demand pricing these savings are truly inspiring isn't it so how can we miss out on the indian companies let's talk about them how can we forget zomato practo and byju's they all have seen similar benefits from using aws by optimizing their cost they have been able to reinvest they have helped them grow their customer bases now let's talk about some of the tools for cost optimization aws actually provides a suite of fantastic tools that can help you manage and optimize your cost let's take a closer look at a few of these tools first off we have aws cost explorer this tool actually has a very good user interface and this user interface allows you to visualize understand and manage your aws cost and usage over time it provides historical data cost forecasts and even recommendations on which reserved instances to purchase it's like having your very own cost optimization guru at your fingertips next we have the aws budget this handy tool actually enables you to set custom cost and usage budgets and it alerts you whenever your cost or usage exceeds or are forecasted to exceed your budget amount or budgeted amount that's a very good thing another essential tool is aws cost and usage report which i use a lot and this comprehensive report actually provides detailed information about your cost and usage it's updated regularly and you can automatically have it delivered to an amazon s3 bucket for analysis with business intelligence tools with this report you can gain deeper insights on your cost data and make more informed decisions lastly we can't forget about aws trusted advisor isn't it that also i use a lot and this incredible online tool actually provides real time guidance based on aws best practices it helps optimize your aws infrastructure improve security and performance reduces overall cost and monitors service limit and this is as your personal consultant always looking out for your best interest so this is one of the very important tools and these tools when effectively used provide invaluable insights into your usage pattern identify cost saving opportunities and empower you to make data driven decision about your resource allocation and cost management remember cost optimization on aws is an ongoing process not a one time event so one must actually or the more you learn and utilize these tools the better you will become at mastering your aws cost and maximizing your investment now that we have covered various cost optimization strategies and tools let's take a moment and discuss some of the common mistakes companies or that companies often make and you might as well make it and by learning from these mistakes you can avoid cost pitfalls or costly pitfalls and further enhance your cost optimization efforts the first mistake is not turning off unused instances it's easy to forget about instances once we are done using them but keeping them running means unnecessary charges remember to stop or terminate instances as soon as you're finished with them your wallet will thank you <laughs> the second mistake is not taking full advantage of the reserved instances or saving plans these pricing models are for you and they offer significant saving compared to on demand pricing analyze your usage patterns and invest in reserved instances or saving plans for your predictable workloads it's an opportunity that you don't want to miss third mistake is neglecting to monitor and tracking your aws cost aws provides powerful tools to help you understand and manage your cost but they are only effective if you use them regularly check your aws cost explorer set up budget alerts with aws budgets and utilize the aws cost and usage report to gain detailed insights on your spending staying on top of your cost will help you identify area of optimization and prevent any unpleasant surprises so now let's take a peek into the future of how aws cost optimization will be while we can't predict everything we can make some educated guesses based on the current trends one trend we are seeing is that a shift towards more flexible or more flexible pricing models and aws's introduction of savings plan which offers the same saving as reserved instances but with greater flexibility is a testament to that we expect aws to continue developing more flexible pricing options in the future catering to the wider range of workloads and budgets another trend that i'm seeing is increased granularity in pricing aws has been gradually refining the pricing structures for its services allowing users to pay for precisely what they have consumed 
For example, AWS Lambda now charges in one millisecond increments, enabling users to pay for their actual usage down to the millisecond. I think that's already been there since a long time, but yeah, I'm saying this. So this level of granularity ensures that you are only paying for what you're truly, what you truly need or what you truly are using. And finally, we anticipate the introduction of more tools and services specifically designed to aid cost optimization. And AWS has been consistently expanding its suit of uh, cost management tools. And we expect this trend to continue. And additionally, third party tools and services will likely emerge to further support companies in their cost optimization efforts. So that is something that I am thinking, yeah, that's a good thing moving into the future of cloud computing. But the real question comes is, what should you do? So we have covered a lot of ground today and now have a solid foundation and you now have a solid foundation for AWS cost optimization. But there's always more to learn and explore. Here are some of the activities and resources to deepen your understanding. Firstly, I would highly recommend checking out the AWS Well-Architected Framework. It's a comprehensive guide to building and running applications in the cloud or on the cloud. And it includes a pillar dedicated to cost optimization. The framework provides best practices and strategies that can take your cost optimization skills to the next level. Make sure that you check that out. Secondly, get hands-on experience with AWS cost management tools. Set up budgets, explore your costs using Cost Explorer and dive into the cost and usage report. These tools will provide invaluable insights into your spending patterns and help you identify areas for improvement. Finally, don't forget to engage with the AWS community. There are numerous forums, blogs, and social media groups. Nowadays, so many of them are there where you can actually connect with fellow AWS users. You can share your experience and learn from others. And let's not forget our channel, which has always provided, I would say, good AWS content. So if you do like them, then please do make sure that you hit the subscribe button. It really helps me a lot. Remember, this is what I'm trying to tell you once again. AWS cost optimization is an ongoing journey. The more you learn, the more you practice and the more you engage with the community and the more you watch my videos, maybe <laughs> the more adept you will become at managing your costs and getting the most out of your AWS investments. And I hope you enjoyed this short podcast session and you found it valuable. And if you did, then please support the channel by subscribing to it. It's completely free for you, but it helps me a lot. So please make sure that you do that. And that's all from my side today. Stay safe, stay healthy and keep optimizing those AWS costs. It's been a pleasure being your host today and I'll catch you in the next episode. So until then, it's Pythalic.